Volodymyr Zelensky is set to invite two frontrunners in the race to become the next Tory leader and UK Prime Minister to Kyiv to discuss an anti-Vladimir Putin plan. The Ukrainian president reacts with sadness to Boris Johnson's resignation earlier this month, telling the outgoing PM, the entire Ukrainian society, was sympathetic towards him. He said, we have no doubt that Great Britain's support will be preserved, but your personal leadership and charisma made it special. In order to put this to the test, Ukraine has signaled it would like the Tory leadership candidates who make it to the final two to visit the country and discuss their plans. Senior Ukraine MP Oleksiy Goncharenko extended the invitation and is expected to write to Tory party officials to make the visit possible. He said, Boris Johnson led the world stage on helping Ukraine. He demonstrated solidarity with the Ukrainian people and boosted morale across the country when we faced our darkest moments. It is essential for global security that the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom is a good friend to Ukraine and willing to do whatever necessary to tackle the barbarism of Putin. I urge both candidates to visit Kyiv and set out their vision for foreign policy, how they will address the invasion of Ukraine and how the UK, under their leadership would stop the genocide taking place at the heart of Europe. During his second in-person meeting with Mr. Zelensky in Kyiv last month, Mr. Johnson stressed, the UK is with you, and we will be with you until you ultimately prevail. He also offered to establish a major training operation, which could train up to 10,000 soldiers every 120 days. The number was, however, smaller than that of the number of Ukrainian soldiers being killed every 120 days in the Donbass alone, with injuries taking more still away from the battlefields. Low stockpiles at home have also prompted questions over the length of time for which the UK can continue backing Ukraine. Britain recently had to buy howitzers from a third party to send to Ukraine. The extent of Mr Johnson's solidarity with Ukraine has not gone without criticism in the UK. In order to visit Kyiv in June, the Prime Minister cancelled his attendance at an important Northern Conference last minute. A Tory MP noted that some of the organisers were disappointed. His shifting of arrangements did not, some claimed, say much for his levelling up agenda. Both former Chancellor Rishi Sunak and Foreign Secretary Liz Truss have also conceded that the sanctions imposed on Russia by the UK are having a negative economic impact at home at the time of a cost-of-living crisis. Alongside sanctions, the UK has pledged close to £2.5 billion in military support for Ukraine. Mr Johnson is expected to end his time at number 10 in September this year. A leadership winner, that is, the next Tory leader and Prime Minister, will be decided from the final two candidates by the membership of the Conservative Party.